Hello, I have a geometry project to share with you today. We're working with our Waldorf curriculum from Live Education, and in this lesson on symmetrical triangles, we decided to cut triangles out of sheets of paper. And you can still do this with color pencils if you'd like, but we're going to use some 90-pound uh, watercolor paper, and we're going to send it through our Silhouette Cameo to cut several triangles. Now I did two sets of these so that we would make sure that we have mirror image triangles. So I'm just going to remove them from the cutting mat and if you don't have a silhouette cameo I have another alternative for you um, at the end of this video. I'll show you how you can make these without this tool. So I've got two sets and I've got several triangles because we're going to need this for my fourth grader, my eighth grader, and one for me to demonstrate. So we're going to color these triangles with these different um, colors. Um, these are Distress inks, and they're an ink pad that you can just flip upside down, squish it onto a non-porous surface, and use as watercolors because it's water-based. So this is convenient, and now my, <coughs> excuse me, my fourth grader is going to color in these triangles, and he chose the colors this time. So we have like this teal color and this earthy green, and a red and an orange and then um, a couple different blue colors and then my kids mysteriously take off to go build a fort and I'm left watercoloring the rest of these triangles um, but that's okay because I'm faster and in just a couple of minutes I can get all of these um, painted and the other thing is I want to make sure that when my son was painting them that he was painting the right side because you want the triangles to end up being mirror images of each other. So this is what it looks like when they're all painted and nearly dry and I'm using some spray adhesive on a sheet of paper. I found that to be the easiest way to adhere these down and now I'm just going to assemble my mirror image and I didn't didn't really like the way my image turned out, um, I ended up taking it all apart and giving the extra pieces to my kids, but I still did it so they could see what it's, um, you know, the purpose of, of the assignment is just to make um, a mirror image using triangles. So if you don't have a digital cutter, you can take two sheets of paper, and I'm just using copy paper for this, and you can cut a variety of triangles from it. So I'm just starting at the corners so that I can get some right triangles going and I can do this pretty quickly as long as the two pieces of paper line up and you could even use four sheets of paper and get two sets. And then I'm just going to lay them out on um, my mat here just to show you how quick and easy it is to do this project even if you don't watercolor it or adhere it down to a separate piece of paper. And so in just a few minutes, I can do this project, and I actually like this one better than the one I did before. <laughs> so my fourth grader is now going to work on his, and I drew a very faint line right down the center of the page so it would be a little bit easier for him to assemble this project. And he decided to put all of his triangles um, flush against each other. And I actually like the way this, this turns out a little bit better than when there are spaces in between the triangles. And you could do this you know, any way you'd like. Um, the purpose of this assignment is to recognize mirror images and symmetry. And so for my fourth grader, I, I don't know that he is getting the same out of this lesson as, say, my 8th grader. And, and that's okay because he's participating and these are nice previews for future lessons in geometry. So if you liked this project and you want to see more projects that we do with watercolors and geometry, you can click the right side of the screen. And if you want to see some of the math games that we use in our homeschool, you can click the left side of the screen. And if you're on a mobile device, I'll add the links to the description below. And as always, check out my website, pepperandpine.com. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.